Welcome to Buck and Jack, I'm Adrian, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can customize your NATO strap. Maybe you think the NATO strap is too long, or maybe you don't like this extra pass here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can cut this all up and heat seal it yourself. I get quite a few requests for creating bespoke straps, and the thing around that is that this is, although this is a premium strap, NATO straps are affordable straps and they're made out of material, this is seatbelt nylon, they're made out of material that is easily customizable. Rather than spending an extra money on buying a bespoke strap, you may as well just customize it yourself. And that's one of the things that these straps are great for. What we're gonna start doing first is maybe you don't like this overlap here, so maybe you just want it to be um, a single slide through. So we're gonna cut the strap and heat seal it just below this first notch here. So what we're gonna need is a lighter, a pair of sharp scissors, a sharpie, and a coin. Now this is a British one penny. You basically need any coin that is the same width as a strap itself. If this is your first time doing this process, then I suggest that you practice on a part of the strap that is going to be waste so that you, uh, you don't mess the strap up itself. So you just place the coin down where you're going to cut. I suggest cutting as close to the notch before the part that you want to keep. Therefore, you're leaving as much gap between the two notches so that you have a nice strong end. Also, you can make use of the cut that's already in the strap itself. So quite simply line up the penny, draw around it, and that is now the line that we're going to be cutting across. Now, the trick is to get scissors that are as sharp as possible. These are the only scissors that I could find in the house, so I'm gonna have to do with these. But if you do have fabric scissors or something that is super sharp, then go for those. The cleaner the cut, the easier it is to seal. So now you need your lighter, and if you're a kid, do not do this without adults. I don't want anyone contacting me saying that they burnt themselves. Flames hurt, don't put the flame on you. Don't hold the strap over the flame because you'll start to, to blister it and it will bubble up. You basically just want to singe the outside of the strap. And because it's nylon, it melts very, very quickly. It's pretty much just the heat that you need. Make sure the edges are nice and sealed and it doesn't really matter if they do start to fray because you just get the lighter out again and just seal them up. Let me put the strap back on. And now I have a native strap with only a small part poking through. I could take that down a notch or so, but you've got to remember that in the summer your wrist is going to expand, so you do want a couple of extra notches for when your wrist expands. So let's look at turning this into a single pass NATO. Some people don't like this extra section here. It does add thickness to the watch if you're wearing quite a thick watch. We use 1.2 millimeter thick nylon. So our nylon's thinner than the majority of NATO straps out there, but some people still don't like this section. So what you're gonna to need to do is again, grab your scissors and just cut as close to the seam here. Obviously don't cut the seam because as soon as you do that, you will weaken it. You want this to still be a strong strap. And then with your lighter, again, flames hurt. Don't put the flame on your skin. Now this isn't gonna blister up and be uncomfortable. It's not gonna scratch you. It's just nylon. It just shrivels up when it burns. And so it is all soft, rounded and everything. So it's quite nice. We now have a single pass custom length NATO strap. And it's really easy. And maybe you could turn this thing into something, I don't know. Maybe put it in a key ring. Don't know. If you start to get a frayed edge, at the end of the day, these straps are being slid through spring bars and metal cases, and there's, there's metal links, there's metal keepers that it's rubbing against, and maybe you wear bracelets or bangles. So if you do get a frayed edge like this, all you need to do is get your lighter out, and within a second, those frayed edges have gone, and then that's it fixed. This stuff works with all nylon NATO straps. The special things that we have with our NATO straps is that we have solid buckle pins. So these are super strong buckle pins. They're not just bent steel. It's milled from one solid unit. We have these nice little holes in the buckle, kind of reminiscent of the holes in nice old watch cases. The other thing is just then the overall finish. The hardware you use is rock solid. It's 316L steel. Really, really hard stuff. And then all the edges, all the holes are heat sealed. If you want to grab one of our NATO straps, jump over to barkandjack.shop. If you want to check out our website, it's barkandjack.com. You can read articles on there. If you like this sort of stuff, subscribe to the channel. We'll easily do watch reviews and just updates on what's happening in the watch world or just thoughts on what's going on. And just hit subscribe down the bottom there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else might find it interesting, do share it on your social media bits and pieces. That'd be a real big help for us. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.